I'm Dominic Littlewood and I'm here in Edinburgh on behalf of Smart Energy GB to help families make positive changes to their energy habits. So let's do it. So Jane and John, I'm here to try and help you take control of your energy use. So how have you found your bills since the energy price cap has increased? Our bills have trebled. We came from two houses into one and we pay three times as much in this home than we did before. Wow. And what are you putting it down to? Showering and heating, uh, definitely. And this is a very cold house, even on a warm day. OK, from what I've seen today, there are definitely some things you could do to try and keep some of your energy usage down. You've already got a smart meter, so that's a big tick. Have you thought about your windows? Think about heavy lined curtains, because that will help keep out drafts. Uh -huh. That goes the same for doors, particularly front doors or porches. Mm -hmm. Heavy lined curtains, or even door stops at the bottom that just keep the drafts out. Or you could shut the door yeah, as well. I could. Yeah. Well, that's actually yeah. a very good point. If you're not using rooms, shut the doors. And at the same time, with the thermostats, turn down the radiators so they're off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why heat a room that's empty? You don't need it. Shut the door, keep the cold out, lock it in there. Look, I said that without opening my mouth. <laughs> radiators. You can put foil backing behind the radiators, which keeps the heat coming into the room rather than being absorbed by the brick wall. Very cheap to buy. Mm. Yeah. Rather than heat the whole house, if it's not that cold, try a hot water bottle. It lasts for mm. ages. This is your in-home display that comes with your smart meter, and it's showing you your energy usage in pounds and pence in near real time. Are you using it? I use it, and I do check what we're spending yeah. and what we're spending it on. What about you, John? I'm checking it now, okay. but I didn't before. Okay, this is honest. It's stressful sometimes looking at it and yeah. thinking, how can I stop that getting as high as it is? Bear in mind though that that worry uh, when you're looking at the pounds and pence on that would be a lot worse if you didn't and then you suddenly got a large bill in that you weren't expecting. So we know what your in-home display does, but this is your actual smart meter and this is automatically sending your readings to your energy supplier at least once a month. So you're going to get accurate bills and you can see what you're spending your money on. That's really, really helpful. It's really easy to forget to send the meter readings in regularly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd like to thank you both for inviting us in to talk about your energy habits and hopefully some of what you've learned today might help to keep those bills down. Yeah. They're all simple things that will help us improve. Yep, yeah, easily.